dudes and dudettes, this is Core with Planet Core Productions, reporting from the television capital of the world, Burbank, California. <laughs> that was a pretty, uh, pretty uh, dramatic intro there. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm a Flash developer, focusing mainly on interactive multimedia productions. And also, uh, privately, and both professionally, I'm an Action Script 3 junkie, which means that I couldn't live without Action Script 3, even if I tried. Luckily, I don't have to, because these silly ones, they pay me to code all day, <laughs> and they don't know <laughs> that I love it. Anyways, uh, I have been working with Tween Light, uh, uh, Tween Max, Timeline Light, Timeline Max, and Loader Max for a long time. Thank you, Jack. These are freaking amazing plugins. Uh, they're free. Uh, but recently I took a job where I had to transform a bunch of movie clips, and I'm talking about 100 plus movie clips dynamically, uh, in a dynamic manner. And I had a choice, either I write the code myself, which would probably take me two, three days, or I'm just going to try out Jack's new transfer manager. Because I knew of it, I just never actually looked into it. Before I purchased it, I wanted to see if there are any video tutorials kind of walk me through how to use it. Because, you know, who reads these days? I, I, I wanted to see a video tutorial, and I couldn't find any. So I decided, dang, I gotta make one. So here I am, I'm making one. <laughs> so when you uh, uh, go to greensock.com and you go on the Transfer Manager page, you can see that there's a little cute little Swift that kind of demonstrates... Uh, the basic capacity and uh, capabilities of this wonderful plugin, which, in my honest opinion, is uh, Jack's best work ever. Man, I looked at the code. It's so neatly written. It's so uh, uh, well commented, well documented. It's optimized to the hilt. It's just, it's just amazing. It probably would take me, I don't know, I, I, I don't even want to guess, uh, but probably weeks. <laughs> and it probably took Jack weeks to to actually make this as good as this is. So when you scroll down and you see the price, $299, then you may consider, you know, uh, that all the free plugins are free, but this one is only $299. And I tell you, man, you're saving, you're saving incredible amount of time and energy by uh, just buying this. So I had that choice, whether I write the code myself or I just buy it. So I was brave enough, bought it, and man, that was the best deal of my life, I can tell you that. Uh, it works like a charm. It's amazing. It's customizable. It's, it probably even speaks Japanese, although I haven't yet tried that feature. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to our tutorial, and I want to show you how we can uh, uh, use this, you know, just the basics of Transform Manager by Greensock.com. So what I did, I went ahead and imported three graphic items, Redwig, Pink Shades, and Core. <laughs> Look at that handsome guy. I also created three movie clips, Core, the linkage is Core with a capital K, Pink Shades, linkage is Pink Shades with a capital P, Redwig, linkage is Redwig with a capital R. So it's pretty simple, and I named my tutorial, tutorial.fla. <laughs> what an exciting title. And let me just make this stage a little bit bigger, because I think we're going to need it. Um, also, uh, apologies, I'm using uh, Flash CS5. Your layout may look different, but try to bear with me. I hope you can still follow. So uh, let's select the actions layer. I'm going to put all my code in the um, directly in the timeline. And if I wanted these movie clips added to the stage dynamically, you guys probably know it's a very simple few lines. I have to just uh, create a new core <laughs> and just add the child. That's true. I'm a child sometimes. To the state, so if I test the movie, duh, you know, so I gotta do the same thing with the other, oops, the other uh, two items. I'm just gonna change this to pink shades, and I'm so lazy, you know, I'm a coder, not a worker, so I'm just gonna copy and paste. <laughs> and of course, since these are the classes, I'm gonna have to capitalize the first P because in the linkage it's a capital P, and <clears throat> And this one is the red wig. Red wig, copy the red wig. And I'm pretty sure that most of you already got wind and understand where I'm heading with this. So if you test the movie, you can see that I look a little bit like uh, a mixture of Mitch Hedberg and uh, Pink <laughs> or something like that. But I can't move, you know, these movie clips if I wanted to position that 
that wig on my head properly and get the hair out of my face, uh, I can't do it. If I wanted to do that, I would probably have to write code, drag and drop. I have to write at least five functions that handle these events. And even then, the resize function and the rotate function and all of that would be, uh, well, not necessarily a nightmare, but uh, a lot more work than it is with the transfer manager. So let me show you how you do it with the transfer manager. So I'm just going to cheat here and... Uh, copy these five lines that are needed to invoke import the transfer manager plugin and let's create a new uh, transfer manager instance um, let's call it manager one transform there it is manager equals new transfer manager very cool and if I test the movie nothing significantly happens because we haven't hooked up the movie clips to the actual transform manager instance manager one so let's do that so again a nice little copy and paste and we're gonna add item because it's it's that simple <laughs> core I'm gonna pass in the core movie clip to the transform manager class and I'm just gonna copy the whole line and and paste it there and just gonna have to pass in the different movie clips like in this case it's the red wig and if I test the movie now and once again just see that it's 19 lines of code five of which is just the invocation of the plugin <laughs> so and when I test the movie I see Pretty much the same thing except when I click on every item it's, it's draggable and uh, rotatable and resizable and that's just amazing I mean it's just your imagination that sets the limitation for this wonderful plugin for example look at this <laughs> man you may think that I have issues and you may be right <laughs> I already uh, mentioned Mitch Hedberg he's one of my favorite comedians. I don't know if you guys know him, but he's hilarious. He's wearing his uh, glasses like that. <laughs> so anyways, uh, the point of this is that you can build an application like this, a fun little app, within a heartbeat using only 19 lines of code. N now, it's just really mind-boggling. Like That's amazing. That's how Flash should be. But if Flash was like that, let's face it, we would all be out of work. <laughs> I'm kind of sort of glad ActionScript 3 is a little bit complicated. But uh, uh, on a serious note, uh, it has some issues that I want to address. Uh, not the plugin, but our little app. For example, when I place the wig and the glasses and I click the picture, everything goes behind it. So if you want to build a... Uh, if you want these, if you want the background to be handled on a different layer, it's pretty obvious what you need to do. You need to create a movie clip, uh, an empty movie clip. Let's just call it MC. So let's click OK and just grab MC to the stage. And let's give it an instance name of MC. That's really unique. And what I would like to do is create another movie clip, maybe the same. And let's call it, oops, see that was silly of me. So let's call this one MC2, how about that? We can put all the all the outfits, all the other props in there. So instead of the stage, we're gonna add core to the MC and the props to MC2. And let's test our movie. And Look what happens. They are still being uh, transformed by the same transform manager. But when you click on the background picture, it stays in a different movie clip inside of MC. So because the background picture is in MC and these guys are in MC too. And here's another little thing that <coughs> you can uh, pretty much uh, uh, set up as a customization for this plugin. For example, it's very intuitive for some users to try and move these objects with the arrow keys. And obviously, I'm, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm 
hitting the arrow keys while the red wig is selected and nothing happens. So let's take care of that. Let's add this capability to our manager. So manager one, arrow keys move, and it's a boolean, true. What else would you expect, right? <laughs> And look, I select something and I'm hitting the arrow keys or I just keep them pressed. Isn't that amazing? And of course, it applies to all the movie clips that are handled by Manager 1. That's amazing. It's simple. But, uh, oh, here's one more thing. Another little thing, like you select the red wig and you say, oh, I don't want the red wig. And you hit the delete key. That's another intuitive user interaction. And nothing happens, you know, because the default is that it does not allow deletion. So let's set it up. I'm just going to copy and paste this, except change this to allow delete. So manager dot allow delete equals true. It's another boolean. And if we test the movie, oh, I don't want this. And you can delete. Actually, you can delete everything. So the transfer manager plugin has a lot more features than what I showed you here. I didn't really want to go into great details in great length regarding those. But what I recommend is you could go to uh, greensug.com, buy the plugin, read the code, go through the documentation, and you will realize that you can achieve uh, great things in a short amount of time uh, in great quality. And that's what it all comes down to. And of course, the file size, that stays small. That's That's just amazing that's what it's all about look at this two empty movie clips on the stage 21 lines of code equals a fun little app under 10 minutes so I mean I don't think I need to say anything more than that I just really wanted to put this tutorial together to kind of give you a feel of how easy it is to use this plugin uh, here's another version of the same thing I went uh, a little further with this one you can tell 96 lines of code and same thing, you can add your own pick, or the user can do that. And there are more items that you can choose from. And pretty much, as I said, it's, it's just, just your fantasy that limits you. And uh, it doesn't take you time to, to create something like this. And these could be useful uh, applications for e-commerce website where people could try things on in a virtual manner. Uh, once again, go to greenstock.com, buy this plugin. It's not a plugin that you will be using every day, but when you will be using it, you will have a blast, period. All right, guys, I think my time is up. Uh, plus, I just realized I need to go see my shrink. <laughs> my name is Core with Planet Core Productions, reporting from the television capital of the world, Burbank, California. Take care.